How's it going everybody? It's Warner Fields from Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student. Today I'm going to be diving into the new online arbitrage software called Flipmine. I recently got an opportunity to sit down with the guy who invented it and just kind of get a deep dive into what it's all about. And today I'm going to be showing you guys because I think it's a really good opportunity. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to use the book side of it specifically, but you can also use it for online arbitrage and I believe that's what he designed the tool for. I'm just not a huge fan of online arbitrage myself because you run the risk of getting IP complaints that you can't do anything about because you won't have invoices. But if you want to use the software for that, it's there for that as well. But today I'm going to be showing you how to use it to find used books. I've had a lot of fun this last week just messing around with it, trying to uh, find books to flip, and it's been uh, pretty successful. So let's dive into it and I'll show you how to use it. So to start out, we're going to go to flipmine.com or you can press the link down in the description. That's also uh, going to help the channel out, so I'd really appreciate if you do that. But now that you're on Flipmine, you're going to just make an account here. I've already made one. And now that we're actually within the platform, let's uh, just dive into it and show you how to use it. I'm going to be using it to find some books today. So here there's all kinds of uh, interesting filters. So what this tool actually does is it grabs prices off of eBay and compares them to Amazon prices, which is pretty interesting. I've uh, never seen a, a tool do this like this, especially with used books. So I'm excited to use it for that. So we're just going to go ahead and throw on a couple of these filters here. This one I really like, the Amazon FBA to FBM price difference, because with a lot of OA softwares like Zen, Arbitrage, and eFlip, you're going to get books that have like $5 merchant fulfilled prices and then you know $100 FBA and the, the scanner is going to think that's a good deal but really no reasonable consumer is going to be paying that big of a difference to get it in two days. So I'm going to go ahead and set it this to like $20. This is really going to depend on the price range you're looking at. This is just going to be a good safety net to get rid of a lot of those, not get rid of too many. This Amazon price, I like to filter to be uh, about 25 or greater just to allow a lot more room for margins because the cheapest things you're going to find on eBay are going to be four or five dollars. So the to double the money on that, you're going to have to sell it for like sixteen to seventeen. And I I want to be looking for more than four dollar profits, right? So we're going to go to twenty five. You can also press category up here. So this is where it's going to let you pick whatever category you want. If you want to use the tool for toys and games and stuff. You can do that. There's sporting goods. If you guys want to see a video on how to use it for new to new flips with like new toys and new sporting goods, I'm happy to make a video. Just ask me down in the description. I'll make a quick video on it. So for this one, we're going to be using books. Add that rule. And then for condition, we're going to go to used just so we don't get in trouble with IP complaints and that kind of stuff. Uh, new sellers, I like to just do greater than two and then use sellers greater than let's say 10 that's going to tell me that if there's that many sellers then this book is probably actually selling that's going to get rid of a lot of those books that aren't really uh selling that often and then we're going to go to roi i'm going to set this to 75 used books that's a pretty standard roi and then we're going to be going up from there hopefully you could go down to 50 depending on what you're happy with i'll set it at 50 for this the sales rank I like to stay below 750,000 for my online book flips. That's again your personal risk tolerance. Some people recommend 1.5 million, but I like to buy those books that flip quickly or the books that are 100% going to sell during textbook season. I would say that's the bulk of my book flipping. Uh, subcategory in this case, you can press textbooks, but I've found that you're able to find a couple more than you would be able to find if you just press this. Um, like if you press search in books instead of textbooks, you're going to find a couple textbooks that wouldn't have showed up in textbooks. So just so you're not missing a couple of those, those flips. And with those filters on, I believe we're ready to start looking. So as you can see here, there's all kinds of things on this little bar here. Condition, the images, so you can see if they don't match up really quickly. Sometimes the pictures won't match. I'm um, not seeing anything off the bat right there. Uh, you got the titles, you got the Amazon sales rank, eBay price, Amazon price. This Amazon price is usually the buy box, so sometimes you'll find merchant prices that are lower than this price, but for the most part it's a pretty useful indicator. You're still going to want to click through these. Uh, it shows you your fees if you sell it at that price, and your profit and your ROI if you sell there. And then it shows you this eBay date listed. I like to search by eBay date listed just so you're getting the most recent uh, data. And then if you actually go ahead and click through here, it's going to pull up this little menu that's going to show you the Amazon used price over time. 
it's got a link to the Keepa. It's got a can I sell it link. So that's going to pull up your your Amazon account here. And it's going to show you if you can sell it. In this case, we can. Uh, you can pull the Keepa link up here. So it's going to take you directly to Keepa there. And then we've also got some general statistics down here about the about the products. So now that we've kind of looked at all the basics of it, let's kind of take a look at a couple of these that I haven't seen before. And then I'll show you some that I've saved that I was able to pick up here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is check this listing here and look for the condition. If it's acceptable from eBay, I like to stay away from those because they're usually going to be in pretty rough condition. So we're skipping that one. This one's in good condition. We'll take a look at the Amazon listing here. So it's from 1461 here. Looks like prime. The price would be able to go maybe $5 higher than that. So we could probably sell it for 20 prime. And then here, it's going to be ten dollars, so there's probably not enough money left there. The, in this case, it was pulling. What price was it pulling here? Possible that that is the used buy box currently, but that thirty-five dollars probably isn't. Yeah. So right now, the used buy box is thirty-five dollars. You could maybe get twenty-five on this one, but that's not super realistic because the sales aren't super consistent. So let's take a look at this one real quick. We're gonna go ahead and look at the Amazon listing. Merchant prices from eight dollars. So we're gonna move on, and then we got from twenty, and then the price of this one is twenty, and it's in fair condition, as you can see here. So we're gonna skip that one. Let's see. See if we can find one good one, and then I'll show you the ones I've searched for. So this one is new from one hundred and fifty. So I really like this pattern here. It looks like it's a pretty strong summer textbook selling pattern. And then it looks like this one already sold. It was uh, it was a pretty good deal probably, but just in theory, let's say this one would go last summer. It looks like it was selling for about 70 to 80 merchants. So we could probably get a hundred for it prime. So let's say we had bought it for $50 from eBay. That's going to be a $27 profit there. Not too shabby. So yeah, let's go ahead and head back to Flipmine here, and I will show you some of the ones that I've actually saved. I've bought some of these. So this one right here, this one was decent. It looks like this one's still for sale. Uh, $13 here, and then on Amazon, it's going for 29 merchant, and then the low prime is looks like there's not even a prime seller on it right now but according to this keep a chart here it we could probably sell it for 30 to 32 dollars um just because that merchant price gets super close to amazon so we're basically going to be getting the amazon price on this one let's go back here let's say let's use this extension this is just this is a free extension by the way so we're going to press in 30 and then it's going to cost us 13. So that's an $8 profit there, not too bad. So let's check out this one at the bottom here as well. We got this Amazon page here. Looks like it's used from about $92, a little bit of a textbook pattern here. We're gonna click on the eBay listing and we can get it for 45. So let's say we can sell it for just 93 because it's not a super fast sales pattern. But if we list this prime at the merchant price, which we're definitely going to get the next sale. So that's going to be a $30 profit on this one. So I also hopped into my eBay here to show you these couple books here that I purchased with Flipmine. So this Elements of Moral Philosophy, I was able to pick up for $2.98. And then we're going to go to Amazon and find it. So here we got it pulled up. It looks like it's used from $28. I like that. It's got a really strong textbook pattern. I actually sold this one, this textbook season, for about $35 to $40, I think. And it, as you can see, it sells really strongly every textbook season. So picking up this up for $3 was a really good find. So let's say it only sells for $30, which I think it's going to be somewhere around $45 to $50, if not more. So $30 paid $3 for it. That's an $18 profit. And that just comes from sitting on this Flipmine dashboard here and I had this filter pulled up and as soon as a new product comes on here uh, I've just been having this up on second monitor during class or whatever 
And as those deals come in, I've been able to pick up some of these really good deals. Using it for used books like this is just one way you can use this tool. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to show you a couple other little cool features I like about this. Um, on this here, if you click this check mark, you can say you've seen it before, so you're not going to get the same thing. You're also able to save it, and then it'll stay in your saves up here. That's where I was showing you those those books earlier, and here it is up here. I th I believe it stays here until this eBay listing goes down, so you you also don't get it super cluttered over time, which I like. I just think it's a really cool little tool. Comparing eBay prices to Amazon is is pretty good because most of the time these eBay prices are going to be lower than Amazon, so there's a lot of opportunity for arbitrage. A lot of the other online arbitrage tools focus on scanning from other established retail stores, whereas here you can buy just these one-offs. Uh, let's take a look at this one here just like you know regular old guy just selling uh, ink cartridges on eBay that's not gonna come up as often in other people's searches on you know tactical arbitrage and things like that so there's a lot of opportunity here just to pick up on these uh, little high ROI um, uncommon deals I guess so if you do want to go ahead and give this tool a try, there's a link down in the description. It's going to give you a week-long trial as well as help out the channel. Feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, help out the channel as well. The price is discounted right now for early users, actually. And if you have any suggestions for the tool while you're using it, feel free to drop them in the comments. And since I've been talking directly with the developer of the software, maybe your suggestion can get implemented. Go ahead and follow our Instagram in the description as well. We post more often there to try to drop some knowledge as often as we can. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks, guys.